Good evening, folks. So I'm going to go, I'm going to tie a fly tonight, um, going along with my found, uh, found materials theme, I guess. I've done a couple of these using just materials that I found around or repurposing materials, and I'll show you what those are. Thank you for watching, those that are. Let's see if this will focus for me. All right, so my found materials today, um, first off, um, I've got two turkey feathers that I'm choosing from. I think I'm going to go with this one here because of the shorter, the shorter bits there. So I'll put this one away. Um, and I have taken this side and I've used a beard comb to separate uh, the parts of the feather here so I can use them the way that I need to use them. Um, that's one of my found materials. The other one is, um, so this thread is actually the thread that's used to sew a t-shirt. Um, it's kind of, um, nylon, real fluffy looking thread, but I took it and I waxed it with my bowstring wax. Um, I use my, the bowstring wax to make it stick because otherwise it's real, um, real fluffy and not usable. It's kind of like the way that um, um, dental floss is. Uh, if you get the wax all off of it, it's, it doesn't stay together very well. Uh, you can kind of see on this little end that's hanging off here that it's just kind of a lot of small fibers. So I took it and waxed the whole thing so it stayed together. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but I wanted to try it out just to see how it goes. Because um, I'm always trying to think about if I was in a situation where I needed to have something to fish with that wasn't bait or, you know, that I can make up my own bait uh, by making a fly. So what I'm going to do is uh, go ahead and use this. I don't have a ton of it, so hopefully I have enough to make the whole fly. I'm just going to tie this kind of quickly. Uh, so I'm just going to cover this hook shank. Um, this stuff, although it is kind of unruly when it's not waxed, seems to be doing pretty well with the wax. But... Um, it also lays down really flat, so that's good. It's not super bulky. So, uh, take a couple of strands here. And use this for tail. Another option with, with this would be something like an animal fur, if I happen to find, um, some in the woods or something or near the water that I was fishing if I needed to find other materials. So this is kind of a bulky tail. And I have a couple of ideas of how I want to do the body. I thought about doing a dubbing loop um, or using just the thread as the dubbing holder. But I could also do just a body. I think I might do that. So there's a tail. And instead of coming back forward on that, I'm going to keep wrapping this to build the body some more. What's going on here? There we go. Take care of that noise. So, kind of decently smooth body there. The only thing is, these feathers, um, you know, feathers stick together. So, when you put them next to each other, they go back together. And that's what makes them waterproof for the animal that they're on. But if you separate them, and um, you don't have that problem as much. Uh, so, I waxed this hopefully to keep the wax from sticking back together. And so what I'm going to do here, um, I'm not using a doubling loop, loop, but I'm going to use my whip finisher here. Make sure this is still waxed good. I'm actually going to separate this. Let's see if I can get it to split for me. Let's 
see it separates there. Let's see if I can get it to separate all the way up. So I might have to use a dubbing loop if this doesn't separate easier. Let's see what we can get here. That's probably enough. There, I think that's good enough. Just don't want to make this stuff weak. So I took the thread and I separated it. And now I'm going to take my section. I'm going to take this off in pieces. Not sure how this is going to work. Hey Trudy, Suster, happy anniversary to you guys today. 26, 26 years. That was a fun day. So I'm going to put this in here. Back together a little bit. Separated. Go in here with this. I'm not sure how this is going to work. So the idea is you put it in the string. This may not work because this is too stiff. Too. So I can move these apart a little bit. So this is going to be a very buggy fly whenever it's, if it comes together the way I want it to, because these things stick together. So it's going to be real leggy. Come on! Ah, see that one came out. Give me grief. So it'd be much better with deer hair. But if what I found is turkey feather, then I'm not going to use turkey feather. And I have not done this fly before. I'm really, really making it up as I go right here. So I've done some similar, but not this actual one. So this is really the first time I'm trying it. So if you're watching and you've never watched before, um, yeah, this isn't going to work. Take that back out. Do something a little different here. I'm trying to separate these fibers a little better before I cut them. So this is what I want to do. I'm going to use my knife and cut this turkey feather up a little bit, if I can. I'm sorry, this fly is taking longer than I expected it to. Oh, you know what? I decided to use this turkey feather, but I think I might use the other one because it is doing a better job of staying apart. This would be really cool. Yeah, I think I'll do that. This will give me longer pieces to work with, too. <clears throat> Take my gigantic scissors. Let's see how this goes. Mm. 
Hey, Christina. Sure was good to see you guys the other day. This stuff is just not made for this. Making it pretty difficult. So I'm going to try something else. Still have a little bit of thread to work with. Quite a bit, actually. I'm going to come off of this a little bit. I'm going to... Just tie this around the edges. And then trim off what I don't need. There's one... pieces of this <clears throat> so when I first started making these videos one of the things that I used to say was sometimes when you tie flies especially when you do it like this when you're making them up uh, sometimes you end up with something really amazing, and sometimes you t just end up with a bunch of crap tied to a hook. And um, that might be what I end up with today. Uh, still might help, you know, if you had to fish with, for something, and this is all you had for bait, was a feather and a hook and some string. But, you know, there's a lot you can do with, with some feathers on a hook play around with it some okay so there's that and then if I wanted to maybe come like this this actually might turn out cool um, I'll lift these up and go under just to help hold it in place okay now this will help it be more attractive uh, attractive by spooking the fish a little bit or making them attack and lift up these extra pieces here and come back on top and then tie this over the top kind of give it a mr bufu kind of kind of head i'm just going to tie a couple of turns there now <clears throat> i'm not very good at doing a whip finisher um uh, with my hands, but I can use a whip finishing tool. Um, if I didn't have one, I could probably figure it out. Whip finisher just goes around itself a couple of times, and then you just release there, and then put it in place. Like that. So, we've got the feathers on top of the hook. Kind of got a little bump there, which would kind of um, help the water splash a little bit. Um... I'm going to trim my string. Get a little nail polish, which I may or may not have if I was in a situation where I needed to make a fly out of found materials. But um, nonetheless, that's what I'm doing here. Okay. That'll help hold it together. And then one last thing. I want to go back here where these pieces are sticking up and trim them to be this about the same length so I'm not trimming the long part I'm trimming the part that I folded back okay so it's not much of a fly You could do maybe some different things with it. I'll just fluff it up some. Um, yeah. So, it's something. Uh, I've seen flies that were similar. Um, but this is, again, uh, found materials. This is, um, the thread is from a t-shirt. Uh, it was just a loose thread that I pulled and it came out all in one piece. And so, I thought, that's a lot of thread that I want to try to use. So, I took it and waxed it so it would stay together 
and then um, using a duck feather that I actually, I mean, uh, sorry, a turkey feather that wasn't actually found. I found it because um, there's a lot of turkeys around here in California, um, in the Bay Area, surprisingly. Turkeys everywhere. Uh, so I used that. Uh, so there is a makeshift fly out of found materials that may or may not catch fish. I think it kind of worked out. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching those that watched. Hey, Terry Lynn. Good to see you. And that's that. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.